Hello everyone. In this video let's see how we can replace the deprecated Cypress Cookies Preserve once with a plugin that works in Cypress version 10 and hopefully will continue working in the future versions as well. I have this example, it's a site where in the very first test before all we are logging in. We are logging in by you know little filling the form and then the cookie is preserved and then when you go to the second and third test it's immediately is set and you can directly go into the logged in uh, URL. Uh, notice that preserve once has been deprecated, use site uh, you know session. I don't want to use site session, fine. So how can we replace the deprecated method about to be removed? This is why I wrote this little plugin called Cypress version 10 preserve cookie. We're going to install this plugin in our project. Open terminal, install it as a dev dependency. And let me copy and rename this file to something else. So we'll say preserve site.js. Okay, so what do we do right now? We import the plugin and it adds a custom command site preserve cookie once. So instead of saying Cypress cookie preserve once, we're gonna do site preserve cookie once. Okay, go back to the specs, click on the preserve. Okay, logs in before the test and then it seems like it's working and it shows preserve cookie once command and the name of a cookie and it does it before each test. That's it. That's how you get around the deprecation. You can debug what's actually happening by following the instructions. You open the DevTools and you set the local storage property because it's using the debug method. And if you rerun the test now, then you'll see what it does. So on the first iteration, after it logged in, it checks the cookie name connect session ID and it saves it in Cypress env. On the next test, when the cookie is cleared, it looks it up in Cypress env object and sets it back. That's all it does. That's how preserve once works.